To balance this equation, K3PO4 plus MgCl2, that's potassium phosphate plus magnesium chloride, let's count the atoms up on both sides. We have three potassium atoms, and then I'm going to count this polyatomic ion here, this phosphate ion, is just one thing. I can do that because I have one here, and then I have two here. That'll make balancing a lot easier. So we have one phosphate ion, we have one Mg, and two Cl's. On the product side, one potassium, two of these phosphates, three Mg's, and the one Cl. Let's fix the potassiums first. We could put a three in front of the KCl, one times three. That would give us three potassiums, chlorines, one times three. That would give us three of those. So the potassiums are fine. Why don't we just fix the phosphates next? We could put a two in front of the K3PO4. That way, we'd have phosphates, one times two. That would give us two of those. And then potassiums, three times the two. And we now have six. So we probably have to change this. Let's look at the magnesiums next. We have three here and one here. So let's put a coefficient of three, one times three. That equals three. And chlorine, two times the three. That equals six. So at this point, we can see we have three potassiums here, six here, three chlorines, six chlorines. So we're going to need to change the coefficient here. So to get the six potassiums and the six chlorines, we'll put a coefficient of six. And now let's update the potassiums and chlorines. So I have one times six, that's six potassiums, chlorines, one times six, six of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. By counting the polyatomic ions, these phosphates here, is one thing, since we have them on both sides of the equation, that saves us a lot of trouble counting up oxygens, and it really lets us focus on what we need to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for potassium phosphate plus magnesium chloride. Thanks for watching.